this show, we will be documenting travel days. Each month, we will be apart for 28 plus days. We will get back together to travel to a new country. We will have different segments, life lessons with Lan Yan, cuisine with Puri, junk with funk, and rumor has it, there might be some guest appearances and we might interview some of our world race brothers and sisters. I look forward to sharing this time with you. Boop, boop. Taylor, honey, you in front of me? <laughs> Ni Hao, Wang Ying Ning. This is the first episode of Where's Lili? Today we're in Hong Kong and I'm introducing the one and only Lili. Hello, Heath. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Where's Lili? Oh, it's our first travel day and no travel day would be complete without the fanny pack. It is compact and convenient and located in a safe, Place. Let's take a look inside. Wet ones for all those sanitary and antibacterial mishaps. What else do we have in this fanny pack? We have some gum. You never know on the world race when you're not going to be able to use your toothbrush. Gum, it acts just like oral hygiene. We have a little wallet and the passport. There's some miscellaneous other items in there. Oh, and the Dramamine for a little quick sleep on the airplane. Today's first guest will be Lauren Lanyon. Lanyon will be telling us about the essential information that we need to know as a world racer. Life lessons. Lanyon, what kind of life lesson have you learned so far? It's day what? Three or four? Day, yes, I believe we've been traveling for a few days. I lose track. Um, but my lesson is, if you forget to pack certain things, it's okay. Because you can get them along the way. A few things I've picked up from fellow racers and the wonderful, what airline? Cafe Pacific. Let's give Cafe Pacific. Yes, let's give them a shout out. Lion, what would you say would be your favorite of the essentials you've picked up so far? I think that would be the travel silverware. It's very sturdy, good plastic, and it's going to be great. To, um, it won't break. See, look at that. If it broke, I would be furious. Um, so it's unbreakable, and um, you can wash it. So that's exciting. Lanyan, did you purchase the travel silverware at a said REI or Moose Jaw or any kind of store? No, ma'am, I did not. Oh. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't find it. See, I forgot. This is a clutch situation right here. That was good. Um, another thing. When you're leaving Chicago or wherever you launch, there's going to be lots of leftover food. You pack those Nutri-Grain bars, okay? They might get a little squished, but now with my new silverware, I can eat it right up. This girl. Maybe you get a little cold. <laughs> Don't worry. The airplane has beautiful blankets, and they're happy to let you bar them for an extended period. We're on day three or four, ladies and gentlemen. Day three or four. Last thing. Fellow racers didn't think that this was enough toothpaste to keep, but I believe I can have a couple brushes with um, with this, so I'm excited to say that I can go in the airport and brush my teeth now with a small bottle that I can then throw away. Lanyan, I think that you could get at least five five uses out of that yeah. little tube. That'd be great. <laughs> great job. So, life lesson with Lanyan, cord. Cording is okay on the world race. <laughs> Our next guest is Kristen Curry. She will be doing her segment on cuisine with curry. Now, on the World Race, our budget is about $5 a day on food, but the delightful thing is, on the airline, the food is free. It's already part of the package. Let's find out about today's selection on Cafe Pacific. Hello, friends. I'd like to share with you about the divine in-flight menu that we had on Cafe Pacific today. We had options, beef, chicken, even the vegetarian options for those vegetarians on our squad. Now, what, what choice selection did you make on the first meal? I had some chicken, some chicken curry. 
fabulous. It really blessed my tummy, made me very happy. It also came with a shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail in coach, folks. Not up front with the big, with the big cubes. We were in the back, sitting up straight, eating shrimp. How did you feel about the shrimp cocktail? I felt fancy. I felt, I felt not like a world racer. I felt like I was on cloud nine. It was delicious. What was your beverage selection with your in-flight meal? I may or may not have partaked in some adult beverages. Faux free. It was faux free. That sounds delightful, Kristen. Kristen, also, did this in-flight meal come with dessert? It did indeed come with dessert. Fear not, world racers. You will have ice cream when you leave America. Some haagen Dazs. There was ice cream on the plane? Ice cream on the plane, y'all. Now, Kristen, was it on your tray? Was it just crappy plastic that they gave you, or were there nice bowls for you to put your food in? No, no. We were eating, we were eating fine out of bowls. Decorative bowls, <laughs> Asian bowls. In Hong Kong, we experienced a breakfast craving in one of our squad mates. It was serious, serious, Lily. So we went, we hiked down to the McDonald's and got her a McMuffin. It was delightful. She really enjoyed it. Also, for those of you, just know that there's no shame. There's plenty of grace on the world race. So if you happen to see a roll in the trash on the airplane and you feel convicted to eat that roll and not waste it, you just dig right in that trash and get it because some of the people in our squad did. No butter needed. Day three, ladies and gentlemen, eating out of the trash, hoarding supplies. I can't wait to see what month two brings. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. With our next guest, we will be talking to Sherry Funk. Sherry Funk will be sharing the junk. This segment is called Junk with Funk. We, on any travel day or during the world race, we will experience some trouble. Funk is going to report on some of the troubleshoot that we went through today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sherry Funk. <laughs> Hello, Funk. How, how are you today? Good. good. How are you? Great. <laughs> Sherry, lay it on us. What is the junk? Well, we got to the airport um, this morning, actually, in our time, and our carry-ons had to weigh 15 pounds. So some weighed 28, some were good, <laughs> Leanne. So we all were, like, piled up, taking stuff out, weighing it, but um, everything was good there. Um, on the airplane today, I got rebuked twice. <laughs> Funk, what, what does that exactly mean, be rebuked twice? What happened? Can you describe the scenario? Well, you know, I'm running around before the plane takes off, and I'm standing in my seat, and the airline stewardess literally pushed me down and was like, sit down, ma'am. And <laughs> at one point, I didn't have my seatbelt on when it needed to be on, and she grabs it up and's like, put it on. And I think Lanyon got um, yelled at too on the airplane, but I don't really know the details of that situation. Um, I know... Um, Tommy Lepke had an er allergic reaction on the airplane and he's got some hives on some places that we don't want to discuss. Um... Funk, thank you so much. Uh, you know what? I can actually do a follow follow up to the Lanyon situation. Okay. What was happening was there was a divider. There was a little galley area, and Caitlin Martin was behind it, and we were just relaying information. On our flight today, there was an outside camera. We could see takeoff and landing, and all flying time. We could see the clouds, everything. And it was just mesmerizing when the wheels went up. It was like a sci-fi movie. We were just very excited. And the flight attendant thought it was a little bit too much excitement for, for an airline. There was also another mishap where I was taking pictures of people as they were coming through security. And the security, they frown on that here in Hong <laughs> Kong. Well, thank you, Funk. It's been a pleasure doing this thank segment with you. you. I look forward to more, more troubleshoot. Oh, I really look forward to more junk. Our next guest will be Rumor Has It with Raj. I would like to welcome Rajesh Solanki to the floor. Come on out, Raj. Go, Raj. Go, Raj. Hello, Raj. How are you today? I am fantastic. How are you doing? I'm great. Raj, now, rumor has it, you know all the lowdown, the comings and going on K-Squad. There's been a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of it's been real interesting stuff. you got to be ready. All right. What can you lay on us? What's the skinny today? Um, rumor has it that 
three people snuck out and are on a roller coaster right now in Disneyland. Disneyland Hong Kong? Disneyland Hong Kong. What's the rumor on how far away Disneyland Hong Kong is from this airport? Hop, skip, and a jump. 30 minutes. Approx. Wow. Are there any other rumors floating about? Um, rumor has it Shannon Horn is very obsessed with her Ohio State pillow bed. No one really knows why. We need to figure this out. Mm. Wow, Raj. You really do know the know-how. Is there anything else? Um, rumor has it that we may be here stuck here longer than we think. There may be a, lay- a delay? Maybe a delay. Might be a delay. How do you feel about a delay? I love it. This airport is fantastic. Did you um, did you see anything else going around in this airport? Is there any rumors of any talent segments that might occur? I mean, I don't want to give away too much, but there may be some dancing going on. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 